Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching my video. Um, this is a tutorial on GIMP on how to make an eyeball, not an eyeball, just irises with the pupil and, well, the glowy, shiny effect. Alright, um, take you on a step by step how to make that. So we'll get started. Press Ctrl N if, well, you gotta select toolbox or layer. Now, preferably, any, well, most computers screens would be 1024 by 768 but if not you can always mess around with that beforehand or just fix that all right start with that now it doesn't matter if you start with a black back uh, foreground or a background or any color you, you can always change that after see this layer here that's the background and if you press shift on and click that you got another transparent layer but if you don't press shift you can still works the same but basically it's more detailed and you I think it starts with foreground and background but I've set it to transparency it's all it's so much easier to have it transparency because then you don't have to delete all the background and it's just a lot easier anyway so don't delete it just you won't do anything on it but it does help having it there Okay, first we need to get the elliptical tool. You can always press E, circle tool, I guess. Now, click on the page and drag it across. Make a circle, but press Shift after you've already dragged it to make it a one by one aspect ratio. So it's a perfect circle and nothing will really get in its way. All right, now, probably want to make it black. You don't have to. It's just can make the picture look bit better well just this one that I've noticed that I've done um, alright now now that we've done that go filters light and shadow and supernova this is gonna create the um, iris effect that will alright now it won't be this small the irises it's actually probably gonna come out to here I don't know why it's that small on the preview but anyway you can always change color as well but you can do that after and that's probably a bit much as well so we'll go down oop, down a bit that'll do alright now let's make the the pupil now get the elliptical tool again press E on the keyboard or just click there and go from about here actually oh, you can fill it around anyway and you dragged it but press shift again to make it by ra uh, aspect ratio perfect circle again Actually, what you can do is just, oh, never mind, keep going. It's all right. Now, select feather by about 10. Is that, actually, will probably go smaller than that. So, it's your choice how big you want the pu pupil, really. It can be whatever size. Now, you probably want to feather it. A bit more yeah that should do all right now that we've got that part there see it's sort of darkening the edges here so that it doesn't look like it's just lines coming out we'll also fix out fix up these edges here now make another layer shift and click the new layer button I guess all right now probably just rambling on get the paintbrush tool now you can click on this or you can press X on the keyboard and now click on this the brushes and you gotta select the brush you want and the fuzzy tool you would want I'm really mumbling here now you the first one you want to go the biggest see it makes that the, the pupil look very 3d and just more realistic really now make it a bit smaller uh, it's probably also, you can only you don't have to have the two there. You can choose whatever size you want. All right, how many you want? You wouldn't go over uh, over two, or you could actually do three, but and make it sort of a longer one like that. But I'll just stick with the uh, two smaller ones like that. See, we got more of a three D thing there happening. Alright, now got another one. Now, press U on the keyboard 
that's this fuzzy select tool go back to this layer the original iris one click on the outer edges and then press Control I so that it's first it selects this white area here well actually because it's it's choosing this transparent area here with there's nothing um, and then you press Control I which which switches it to the inverted um, selection so it's selecting this now just the iris part now you go to the top layer and you also get this the elliptical tool and you click over on in the modes area the negative so uh, sorry the subtracting now you can you'll have to fiddle around with this because it can be quite tricky because it can really stuff you about if you get it wrong it's not too hard but it can yeah get a little tricky already said that alright now have a bit of a little bit like that so see it's just selected this area here so it's just selected this gap here now you want to feather the edges by a fair bit actually I think I did it by 40 before now whoops, wrong one see it's m I should probably tell you what to do there um, you need to press if the foreground um, is the, the black one that here I've selected which you can press control comma to use that color or f for the background one you can press control full stop which is a white one which doesn't look realistic anyway so whoop. now you so yeah you wanna you can also add it as many times as you want to make it more realistic so about that and see this outer glow here you you'll definitely want to get rid of that unless you do like it I guess and then go back to the top one yeah so what I did there was I got the fuzzy select tool went to this layer here clicked on it then went back to this because it's selecting this outer layer of this exact circle and this was exactly the same width uh, uh, diameter and so you wanted to delete this part here and yeah so you just delete I really hope I'm making sense I don't think I'm making sense myself self and I'm probably just rambling on but hopefully you really enjoyed this um, rate comment subscribe whatever I don't actually go on this much so it really doesn't matter if you do it or not but actually I just thought of something it might oh wrong one it ugh, really suck at words then I kind of embarrassing putting this on YouTube um, yeah you get the blur tool just see the pixelated edges here just cover them up a bit yeah, just hold down and click and see it's made it a bit more cleaner neater now you can show your friends how awesome you are actually don't do that be a bit of a prick alright and then you can do whatever you want with that you can make some eyes with the path tool that's I probably won't get into this with you um, you could probably learn from some other tutorials at the moment but yeah anyway so cheers write comment subscribe thank you for watching